Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Car, and behind me, the 2017 Hyundai Elantra Sport. This is not your average everyday car with a slight name upgrade in terms of maybe cool tires and wheels. No, there's a lot more to this vehicle. And coming up next, at $21,650, is it worth it? Wait till you find out. Behold, a 1.6 liter TGDI, which is basically a direct injected turbocharged engine. Now, this is nothing like the Eco. This puts out 201 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque, and it's fed through a six-speed manual transmission. Yes, although you can get it with a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. Now, here's the difference between the two of them. You see, if you get the manual transmission, which is the one you should get because you're cool, you're going to get 25 miles per gallon combined. If you get the seven speed dual clutch, 29 miles per gallon combined. Burn a little bit of rubber and see what it's like just to do a quick takeoff. 5,000 RPM just below it is the uh, where it's stopping. It's not letting me go any further. All right, ready and... This thing has some get up and go. I'm on a really crappy road right now. It's a side road, but the balance is fantastic. It just hunkers down and goes through the corners. I love it. We're here in Las Vegas for the Elantra Sport uh, reveal. What we have here, we have the full lineup, um, all different colors, but this one we picked uh, was a white one. So basically a lot of differentiation from the standard Elantra. I guess I'll start here in the front. Uh, completely unique uh, front fascia, uh, different grill texture. Um, the LED DRLs are horizontally mounted as opposed to vertically mounted uh, on the standard car. So a lot of air can you know flow in. We actually have these functional air curtains here that manage airflow uh, through the side of the around the side of the car. Standard HID headlights, uh, both high beam and low beam. So I think when you really when you have a, a sport feature or sport uh, variant. Um, you want definitely a high level of, of differentiation, which I definitely think we've accomplished here. Now what really gets me going about this vehicle isn't the brakes, which are just slightly larger than the standard ones. No, it's what's in here underneath the back. The multi-link rear suspension, fully independent. Its on-road ride is outstanding, especially with these large wheels. I thought it would be worse. And frankly speaking, you want an independent rear suspension if you're gonna have a performance front wheel drive car. And the good news is, when you settle things down and you just drive this car as a daily driver, it's very comfortable. I really like the way it handles on the highway. I went through a pothole and it just did one of those thump thump, you know, where the body didn't really shake or anything like that. It was nice, a little bit of noise, that was it. I mean, I felt it, but it was really, really well damped. The performance of this car in terms of a uh, suspension yeah <laughs> it's pretty good it's really good it's one of the better Hyundai products I've driven we've also got infinity premium audio which is 315 watts uh, includes a center channel as well as a subwoofer that's in the uh, rear parcel shelf so we have the dual clutch, which is this one here. Uh, the seven speed dual clutch actually has paddle shifters as well. And then uh, a proper three pedal uh, manual transmission is available also in the base car as well as in the, uh, the premium package as well. Uh, we've got a unique rear fascia, uh, definitely you know, diffuser element towards the bottom. Uh, the exhaust uh, is a dual chrome outlet exhaust on the standard car that's kind of hidden underneath the fascia. So with a sport model, we definitely want to make sure that you know you know what your uh, what you've been passed by uh, yeah. in the Elantra Sport with the standard 106 or 1.6 liter turbocharged engine as 201 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque at a very low 1500 RPMs. So definitely something you can feel uh, you know day to day because it is intended to be a daily driver. Altogether, it's a good presentation. It's a comfortable place to sit. Steering wheel is excellent and. You get a whole bunch of extras, including Apple CarPlay and a really nice display. And if you pay $2,400 more, you get even a better display. That's right. That's about the only main option you can get.
All in all, for under 25, you're getting a car that has a very powerful turbocharged engine, a pretty damn good setup in terms of driving dynamics. Yeah, not bad. I'm really looking forward to getting one of these up to Colorado so we can really put it through its paces. And with a turbocharged engine, it should do pretty damn well. For the fast lane car, this is Nathan Adlin. Don't forget to go to tflcar.com for news, views, real world reviews, and don't forget, I'm on Twitter, at Nathan Adlin, if you didn't already know. <laughs>